Good morning. It's Saturday, August 26th. Um, I haven't vlogged in the last couple days. It's um, I've been pretty busy like I've been all summer um, working. Um, but Thursday night I actually went out to Blue Stem. I had some yummy desserts. I'll show you some pictures here. Not where my hand is, but you know, whatever. <laughs> um, with my friend Emily and then went back to her place with her and my friend Ben and hung out with them for a little bit because they're leaving the country for who knows how long. So I did that and um, just been working a lot and that's really it. So I've been feeling pretty good. Um, been a little tired but been feeling good. Um, I am I've been working this morning, it's about 11.20. Um, I've been working for the last few hours and I am going to go get my nails done with my mom. So that would be a good little self-care thing and my mom has been wanting to see me for a while and I've been too busy, so that'll be good. And then I have lots more work to do later today. I have Sam coming back on Wednesday, so I'd like to get the house a little bit more in order. Like you can see, I have laundry to fold. It's just, um, it's not like disaster or anything. I just like things really neat and clean and stress-free. I need to do like the chinchilla cage and litter and different stuff like that. So that's my plan for today. Um, nothing too fun. I'm being really lame this summer with everything. Um, uh, the other thing I've been doing is refinancing my house. So things have been a little bit stressful. This maternity leave is coming to an end. There's some stressful stuff happening um, with the autism center I work at um, where there's some conflict between the two owners so that is a little stressful to know what's going to happen there. Um, so we will see. I am just trying to focus on the things that I can control and create and continue to move forward in my journey of creating the life that I want and I'm excited to have Sam coming back so I hope you are having a wonderful day and enjoying life and not letting the stress overtake you so I will see you in a bit hello good morning it's actually the afternoon it is Wednesday August 30th I just got out of the shower um, it's about two o'clock I finished working um, a little bit early today so I got home and had lunch and took a shower um, today is a really big day because Sam gets back from being gone for four months. Okay, sorry about that. I got interrupted. Um, uh, another reason I didn't schedule to work this afternoon is because Handyman was coming over to measure my furnace because I need to get a new furnace before winter comes. My furnace is older than me and it broke down about four times last winter. Um, and basically I was told it's not worth fixing, that I need to get a new one, so want to get that done before winter comes so he came to measure so he can give me a quote tomorrow so I can figure out how to pay for that um, so anyway what I was saying was I don't remember but I was working in Lawrence this morning got that done been working for my sister came home took a shower ate lunch I get to see Sam tonight and five and a half hours so that's exciting um, I have two piano students to teach more work for Jessica to do and I'm going to cook dinner with Jordan so that's my plan for today um, so basically from now until I teach piano and get some work done, I'm gonna put makeup on and maybe do my hair. It's just wet right now. And I don't know. Anxiously waiting for Sam to arrive. So, yeah, I'll try to show you some of Sam getting back. I know I haven't been super great at vlogging lately. It's just been really busy with work. Um, I've actually been feeling really great, like emotionally. I'm, I've had some anxiety this last weekend. Um, I mean, I have anxiety in general. <laughs> it's pretty mild, but I had some more intense anxiety this weekend because 
things were a little up in the air with my job. The center I work at my, was like talking about they might have to close. Um, and then this maternity leave I'm working is coming to an end and Jordan's going to be moving out. So I was like, all of a sudden I was like, whoa, if all this stuff happens at the same time, that's going to be a big change in my income. That's really stressful. So I was getting really anxious about that. I applied to a bunch of jobs because I was worried about it. And then the next day my boss was like, oh, everything's fine. Paperwork got sorted out back on for work on Friday. So, um, that's all good to go, but I have a few interviews now. I have two scheduled, and I have one that I need to call back, but I'm not sure if I want to or not, just because it's already a lot now. Um, but I should. I probably should. Um, but it was kind of cool, because the places that call me are all places that I've kind of worked at or have some experience with, um, and I know I like them. So two of them are PRN jobs, and then one I'm a little bit worried is a full-time only. Um, so I really don't want to do full-time, especially if it's like traditional full-time. If it's super flexible and it's not necessarily 40 hours, if it's more like 30, then I would consider it depending on the pay and all of that. But um, I really like having my other job, so I don't want to give them up to work at some place that's not flexible with me. So we will see. So I have one um, interview tomorrow and one next week, and I need to call the other one back. I wanted to have it tomorrow off to spend the whole day with Sam, but I ended up scheduling the interview, and I have an appraiser coming over. So that's kind of what's been happening lately is I try to make time for things, and then I have to schedule things to make everything fit in and do work. So I have a bunch of paperwork to do, some work for my sister. So I'm going to try to get as much done as I can right now, I guess, so that I can spend as much time with Sam as possible in these next few days because, yeah, tomorrow I don't have to go anywhere for work. just have to leave for that interview, and then I have two piano students. Um, but then Friday I'll be gone all day at work as far as, like, 9 to 4. Um, and then this weekend, so basically, like, I have some time, but normally I'm, like, working during my time that I'm at home, so I want to see if I can get work done so that I can actually spend more time with him and not just be working while hanging out. <laughs> um, anyway, that's the plan. I'll check with you later. Yeah, I'm leaving to go pick up Sam. I'm very excited.
little bit detached from it. Like it's not really real. I don't know. I have a problem with that in general. <laughs> so we'll see um, how soon I get grounded in the sense of living together and the fact that he's back and blah, blah, blah. Anyway, this morning we went on a super long walk with Lily and that's I'm taking her on another walk right now. Um, and that was fun because the weather's pretty nice. And then um, later I had an appraiser come because I'm finishing up refinancing the house. And then I went and had an interview. So that went well. Cross Lily. Um, so I just started feeling a little bit sad all of a sudden. And I think I've. Like I said, I feel kind of detached. I feel... a little not grounded, so... Um, I thought maybe getting out and going on a walk again with Lily would help. Because I just was doing paperwork in my room. And sometimes that gets a little stale. So I'm still on my journey of figuring out the right schedule for me, the right supports, the right routines. Um, and I've had those in place before that really worked for me and supported me, but I didn't have the life I really wanted. So this last year has really been me taking the risk to create the life I want. And unfortunately, that means figuring out all new ways to support myself in that. So. Anyway, that's some random rambling. I hope you are having a wonderful day.